When the program's first downloaded, you'll notice that the clock is not running. Um, once it's touched, say, let's go ahead and, and increment the minutes. Um, I'm using a pencil here because I'm trying to work with a camera that's mounted closely. Please don't use pencils on uh, the display you have in the lab. Anyway, if I'll go ahead and do an auto increment on that, we'll see that it starts to keep time. I can also do an auto decrement here or on the hours. And you'll notice that anywhere in that square region is okay. As I said before, you just do the whole rectangular region. You can also do uh, single updates as I show there. Note that when I'm doing these auto increments or other kinds of changes that you'll notice that there's no flashing of the display and that's because I'm only changing the characters that need to be changed. That's really important to get a, a good solid display. Anyway, with that you should be able to see um, what your clock should look like once it's implemented.